Here's a recipe that my dad used to cook on a Friday night um, after my mother had cooked all week. Uh, it was his turn. And he usually made something really simple but delicious. So this is pasta con aglio e olio. So pasta with garlic and oil. Really, really simple. So I'm going to put a little more than a, a pound in because really a pound is for four people, for normal people, not my family. So we'll do that. Give it a little stir so it doesn't stick. This is, this is salted water, really quite salted. I am going to put, because I actually put too much pasta in the pot, I'm going to put a little bit of oil just to ensure it doesn't stick together and, and really keep an eye on it. I have some garlic here, nice big fresh cloves of garlic, and I'm just going to slice it uh, rather thinly. You're just going to saute this in some extra virgin olive oil for very, very lightly. You don't want it to burn. Nice and thin, like this. I know this is gripping for all of you to watch. Okay, so I have some really nice extra virgin olive oil over here, and I'm going to throw it into this ridiculously sized pan. As you can see, I'm not being shy, because this is, with the pasta water, this is your sauce. The pasta is boiling away, finally. I have this garlic that I've chopped up very finely. Not finely, rather thinly. I'm going to place this in here. It's not super hot, uh, but it's definitely not cold. And we're just going to let that cook. I'm going to bring it up just a little bit. So you're going to be at like a, a, like a medium heat, but always keep your eye on it because it will, the garlic will suddenly just turn and burn. I just made up that expression. I'm going to put a little more in. Okay, now, if you want to, that's a lot of garlic. Oh, shit. I think it's too much. <laughs> All right, I'm going, to put, I'm going to put in a little pepperoncino, and they're really nice. It'll give it just that little bit of heat. Obviously, if you want it harder, add more. Some people will add red pepper flakes at the end of this, but I like the idea of the, the pepperoncino just making that oil nice and kind of Give, give, give it just a little heat. You see what I mean? This is start, these little bits are starting to burn now. So I'm going to bring it down a little bit. And I'm going to add a little bit more oil to it. Because we have so much garlic in there. I'm going to take a bunch of this pasta water. Okay, see that beautiful sort of starchiness? All that gluten is what you want. And that's going to go in here when I toss it. And now I'm going to just strain this. Because I might not use all of this pasta in right away. So I'm going to put a little oil in it just so it doesn't all stick together. And just a little, going to give it just a little bit of heat. And we're going to now take some of this pasta water and add it in. And just give it a little, a little shake a little stir, a little toss. I'm going to get a hernia. It's a very heavy pot pan. Just give it a stir. Get all that garlic in there and salt. You do not add cheese to this, so don't. There's something really clean and simple about this that I think is quite lovely. Okay, so then Basically, that's it. You can top it off with a little bit of paprika, like sweet paprika, Don't, not like the you know, hot paprika or smoked paprika. So just a little bit, and also just look how pretty that is too. And there you go. If you want to add a basil leaf to it, if you want to add like chopped parsley on it, that's fine, but that's it. Okay, now we're going to go eat. Thank you for watching.